October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. New House Shelter is Kansas City's oldest domestic violence shelter, and the shelter's president and CEO, Jim Bogle, is here to share some important information. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Now, women are, when they're in a very dangerous situation, they need help and they need it immediately. How does New House step in and help? They call a hotline called 816 mm -hmm. Hotline. And uh, we look and see how many beds we have in our shelter. If we have beds available, we have the police bring them to our shelter. There's five other shelters in the Kansas City area, and we use their beds if they're not open. Because it's so hard to take, pick up that phone, make the call, and say, I need help. Yes. Uh, in the state of Missouri, there's a domestic violence reported once every 16 minutes. But that's probably 40% of the amount of domestic violence going on in our state alone. And you want to break the cycle. We want to break the cycle. We create a safe environment for the woman and the children, which provides food, education, psychotherapy, and safe shelter. And let's talk about the children, because kids are really affected by domestic violence. Yes, they are. And you know that my, is our my passion, as we talked about it this morning. Children cannot leave the environment. The uh, woman can. And she may or may not uh, like to do that, but the child is left there. I am a uh, survivor of a domestic violent home, and I have a passion that we need to pay more attention to the children. And the statistics are just mind-blowing. Uh, does it serve all children? Is there a limit in age? Well, most of the women that uh, leave the domestic violent person have children from uh, zero to uh, 14 or 15. Mm -hmm. A domestic violent home, a person 16 or older, they try and escape or they leave. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so uh, walk us through what happens uh, when someone comes into the home. It, it's, it's, no one knows where it is. That's Why correct. is it such a safe place and, and really important for them to get back on their feet through education as well. That's correct. We, we create an environment, a safe home. We feed them. We create daycare for the woman so she can go find an alternative job so she can survive and break the cycle. We have education for her and the children. We have a psychotherapist on, on staff that work with the children for the trauma. Mm -hmm. But we feed them breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It costs us $60 a night per person in the shelter to do that. But it's locked from the outside to keep the uh, abuser out and we keep the location uh, secret, secret as you just said. Right. So how can people help? Because this is such an important cause. They can contribute. <laughs> they can donate food. We also have a major uh, event called our house party on November 17th. It's at the Sheraton Crown Center. And for $150 you will uh, feed and, and uh, protect a woman for two nights at $60 a night. Well, thank you so much, Jim, for all that you're doing. I know you're personally passionate about it, um, and, and we appreciate your dedication to the effort. Well, thank you, Michelle, thank you and, to, and, and October is Domestic yeah. Violent Month. Thank okay, you. Okay, thank you.